A couple of hours ago, Demis Hassabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, confirmed that they are releasing what they are calling their quote-unquote thinking model. This is a direct response to OpenAI's O3. For the first time ever, he also engaged in some mild trash talking on Twitter. We've never seen Demis being competitive like this. So let's see what's going on and what the deal is with this new alpha-based thinking model. The term thinking model hints at a significant shift in how these AI systems operate. Unlike standard large language models that primarily focus on predicting the next word, these quote-unquote thinking models are designed to engage in more complex reasoning, planning, and problem solving. Think of it as the AI taking more deliberate steps to arrive at an answer, rather than just relying on patterns in its training data. Before getting into the thinking model in response to O3, let's take a look at their fascinating thinking model that they quietly dropped a couple of days ago. Recently, Google introduced so many new AI features that some of them went under the radar. One of them was their direct response to OpenAI's O1, called Flash Thinking. This model didn't even get a blog post, no benchmarks, no huge announcements, just a tweet and a quick demo from Logan Kilpatrick, followed by a retweet from Demis Asabis. Here is the short demo they dropped for the Flash Thinking model. As the name suggests, this is based on the more efficient version of Gemini, and at the time of launch, was the overall number one in LMC's leaderboard, above O1 Preview and O1 Mini. So why didn't this model get more attention? You could argue Google had too much going on at the end of the year. Let's just take a minute here to look at the magnitude of announcements Google had last month. To really understand why Google preferred to keep the announcement of flash thinking low key. So they could announce a more sophisticated version of it really soon. They dropped image, video and interactive board models, Imagine 3, VO2 and Genie 2. Gemini 2.0 Flash, their highly performant and efficient foundation model which was the base model for flash thinking. Gemini Experimental 1206, which is casually the top chatbot on the chatbot arena leaderboard. And on top of that, they unveiled the world's most accurate weather prediction model, GenCast and the world's most advanced quantum chip, Willow, which performed a computation that would have taken 10 septillion years and could come handy for training AI one day. Additionally, they won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for AlphaFold, which has revolutionized structural biology. So they had a lot going on and had to keep their big announcement for another time. Demis pointed out that their foundation models are very good and their model is the top model on the chatbot arena leaderboard. He said, we dropped flash thinking, Expect a lot more news on this soon. But this is the most important part. As many of you remember, we pioneered this type of model with AlphaGo, AlphaZero, and AlphaProof. This isn't surprising for people who have been following Google DeepMind and their inference time reasoning papers. Although they haven't published a public product, they are on the bleeding edge in terms of research. For instance, a scaling LLM test time compute optimally can be more effective than a scaling model parameters. This paper explores techniques for making models reason more effectively during their use, which is crucial for these new thinking models, and shows that they are not caught off guard by any means. If you didn't know, some of the key people behind O-Series at OpenAI are actually former Google brain researchers. So it was always a matter of time until Demis confirmed it's coming. Although OpenAI was the first company to release what they are now calling a thinking model, it was once again using a Google developed technique that they have been using for years. This technique, as we'll see, is rooted in their work with the Alpha series. This also confirms our guess on how the O series is working. They have a foundational language model at the base level that produces lots and lots of potential thinking paths. Then, an Alpha-like model searches through these different paths and finds the most promising path to pursue something like AlphaGo or AlphaProof. The core idea is that we can know for sure which path is the most optimal choice, but we choose the one that is most likely to lead us to an answer at any given point. Even humans do this for proving and solving math problems. We intuitively guess the most promising path, and if it reaches an answer, great. If it doesn't, we backtrack and try the second best, and so on. So if Google has mastered this pathfinding approach, what kind of power are we talking about? Obviously, our intuition improves with practice, which is the same as training models to have these general rules of thumbs that help decide which path is more promising. Demis is saying, we already have the best foundation model, at least according to the chatbot arena leaderboard. And we are the pioneers of alpha models and highly experienced with them. 
So expect a really powerful model. Thinking models aren't just better at reasoning. They are effectively more knowledgeable. They don't exactly know more, but it's easier to get knowledge out of them. In the early days of AI chatbots, one of the most popular prompt templates was asking the model to explain something step by step. That helped the model to reason, which is what people think of these new models. But it's a lot more sophisticated. It not only helps the model to reason, it helps the model to reflect. Imagine a maze. The LLM generates paths. The thinking mechanism helps the AI to choose the path, but the reflection mechanism helps it backtrack and choose better routes. Mira Murati, former CTO of OpenAI, said in an interview, a challenge with LLMs is that you can't get knowledge out of them unless you are already familiar with the topic. For example, a PhD level computer scientist can get the model to show its capabilities at the PhD level, but a high schooler can't ask the right questions to extract that knowledge. And that could mean even if these LLMs have more knowledge than us, we can't extract them. Now with reflection, the model is prompting itself so it can search through its own knowledge on your behalf. Like a high schooler asking a professor the wrong question, but the professor understands that's not the right question. Let me help them fix their viewpoint first. This is really awesome and I can't wait for it to reach its peak performance. When can we expect this new model? With the confirmation that the full Gemini 2.0 model will come in January from Logan Kilpatrick, lead product for Google AI Studio, we can expect this new quote-unquote alpha thinking model to drop in January as well. My name is Puriya and if you like the video, hit all the buttons you can down below the video. Thanks for watching.